I've got these example shapes because I'm creating a family tree style diagram and I need some lines to connect them together. If I go to insert line and then curve connector, I can just drag and insert it here will do fine. First things first, the width is a little bit thin. So I'm going to select it and go to the width changer, go to three pixels instead of one. That looks a bit nicer. So as the name suggests, it actually does connect together objects dynamically. So if I go to one of the connection points here, you can see it starts changing shape as I move it and it will snap to objects. Look at that. So it's really simple. I can snap it to different points. I'm just going to snap it to this point, go to the other side, and then it will find the object and snap. And it's actually creating a really nice shape as well. But it does actually connect the objects, meaning that if I transform the objects like this, so if I decide I want to change the layout of this diagram later, it is actually already connected, so I don't have to keep going and reconnecting it. It's really simple. So all I'm going to do now is select this, copy it, paste it, and then just go through and add the different connections. Nice and simple. I guess that one is just a straight down one, so that's nice and simple anyway. This one will be a mirror image of the other one. And there you go. It's all dynamically set up for me to chop and change it how I wish. But it makes the whole process so much easier and I definitely recommend giving it a go.